not see you opening any book or referencing any book etc during the quiz also please put your mobile phones if any of the participants have a mobile phone these days you can't tell people have mobile phones from I think when they are born so please put it off parents and teachers if you have mobile phones with you please keep them on silent mode uh, there is a video recording going on so please don't interrupt the quiz if you have to take a call I will request you to please step out phone is silent la vechindu vellu poi call edutukunga call edukunna quiz nadakkum bodu phone ring aama paathukka okay let's get started uh, please stand up for the national anthem volume please Please discuss with the team and write down your answer. There is no negative marking in this quiz. So please take a guess on every question. You never know. You might be right. Take a guess. Most questions, the question may seem very difficult, but the answer will be very easy. It will be something that you know. I will give you more clues as well. Take guesses on all questions. There are five questions which are marked with a star. In case two teams are tied, we'll take your scores from these questions to resolve the ties. And if it's still tied, we'll do what is called sudden death from question one. You don't have to worry about all that. That the people scoring and correcting will take care of. Part points, uh, if at all there are any half points for any question, we'll let you know. Otherwise, all questions carry one point. No negative marking. And the top eight teams will qualify for the finals. And the top three teams are going to win these wonderful prizes and these trophies. In the finals, we have a special round only for the teachers and the parents. Right? So, whether your school or your children qualify into the top eight or not, please watch the finals because we have a special round just for the parents and the teachers in the finals. Right now, parents and teachers, don't, uh, you know, prompt any answers or in your excitement, don't shout out any answers. If you want, just write the answers down on some sheet of paper and keep it. Uh, don't, don't prompt the children right now. And eight best teams will make it to the finals. Everyone ready? Okay, all the best. Question number one of exploring GK Coimbatore coming up. Around 300 plus years ago, heavy rain lashed Coimbatore and led to the flooding of the Sanganur Canal. And inhabitants of a low-lying village called Krishnarayapuram on its banks had to abandon their homes. Not too far from there was an elevated area that got its name from the profusion of Pulai flowers. The people from Krishnarayapuram had to move because there was flooding in the canal. So they moved to this area and made it their new home. And so this area started in 1711, about 305 years ago. Which famous area in Coimbatore is this? Something that all of you should know. Which famous area in Coimbatore is this? Look at the name of the flowers given over there and take a guess. Look at the name of the flowers given over there. So there was heavy rain and these people had to move from the banks of a canal to a new area where there were pulai flowers. Any clarifications you have, please direct them over here. Yes, it is in Coimbatore. I said that it's a Coimbatore area that we want. It is very much in Coimbatore. It's a famous area, very much in Coimbatore. Yes. No, uh, in general, spellings don't matter. So don't keep asking that question. It's not a spelling bee contest, it's a quiz. If the answer sounds more or less correct, we'll give you the points. Okay, so in general, spellings don't matter. Okay, moving on, question number two. Take a look at this book cover. It's a mystery book by Agatha Christie featuring the detective Hercule Poirot. The title of which nursery rhyme is also the title of this book. Take a look at the cover. Think of a nursery rhyme which has a word which is the same as what is shown on the cover. Yeah, see what is shown on the cover and then think of a nursery rhyme that has this word in its title. 
the first five words of this nursery rhyme are the title of this book. Looking for the first five words of a famous nursery rhyme. Look at the picture. See what it is and think of a nursery rhyme that has that same word in its title. Yeah, the title is directly related to this picture. If you see this picture, whatever is in this picture should remind you of a nursery rhyme. That's it. First few words of the nursery rhyme will do. First five words in fact. All right. That's question number two. Let's go to question number three. Deutsche Bank was formed in 1870 in a European city by Adelbert Delbruck, a private banker, and Ludwig Bamberger, a politician and currency expert. The founders named the bank to reflect the country it was started in. Simple question, which country was Deutsche Bank founded in? Just give us the name of a country. So the word Deutsche refers to the name of a country country. So one word answer, what is the name of the country where Deutsche Bank was started? Okay, should be simple, which country? It is a European country, right? Fairly prominent and large European country. Question 4, the most prominent and distinguishing aspect of Rashtrapati Bhavan is the dome on top which is on the structure. It is visible from a distance and is eye catching. It is believed that the dome represents or is inspired by another famous historical monument in India. Which other historical structure does the dome look like? Here are bigger pictures. Yeah, take a good look at the dome on top. This one, this part on top, which other historical structure in India is the dome inspired by? Or what does it look like? Which other structure does it look like? Famous historical structure. Uh, volunteers and people around, please do not clarify anything to the teams. If anybody has a doubt, please ask them to direct it over here, uh, so that there is no confusion. Uh, please do not make any clarifications directly to the teams. I do not want any disputes or confusion later. Teams, if you have any doubt, please raise your hands and ask me. Do not ask the people who are, who are around. Okay, so which historical structure is the dome on the Rashtrapati Bhavan inspired by? Fifth question. This is a photo of three people, the father standing at the back, his name is Rahul and his two sons, Rajiv and Sanjeev. Their family is one of the biggest business families in India and they have businesses in everything ranging from scooters to sugar. Which family is this? Their total business revenue is 50,000 crores, one of the largest companies in India. The father's name is Rahul and the son's names are Rajiv and Sanjeev. Just the company's name, which is also their surname. One word. One word. It's the company's name, which is also their surname, their family name. Take a picture if it helps. Uh, not telling you that. Yeah, there's a clue in the picture. Take a look at the picture. There's a clue in the picture. Right? Uh, take a good look at the picture. We have deliberately left some stuff behind. And your other big clue should be that they make everything from sugar to scooters. Right? So, scooter should be a big clue. Scooters. Very, very big name in Indian business. Very big name. Who is this? Question 5. Question 6. Read this carefully. 
It has been years since the man once known as Dash left the jungles of Africa behind for a quiet life in London as Lord Greystoke with his wife Jane Porter. Now he has been invited back to the Congo to serve as a trade emissary of parliament and gets caught in many adventures. This is the summary of a film that is going to come in 2016. Just fill in the blank about with the name of a character fill in the blank with the name of a character about whom you've read in comics look at all the clues he is originally from the jungles of africa he is also called lord greystoke he has a wife called jane he's come back to london but he's now been called back to the jungles so there's a new movie that's coming out in a few months just give a one word answer the name of that character one word name of the character just the name of the character will do you don't have to if you know the name of the film itself it's a longer name including the character's name that's fine but that's not needed just the name of the character will do The name of the film is The Legend of Dash. That's what the movie is going to be called. It's going to come out in the next few months. It's called The Legend of Dash. So who is the character? One word answer, very well known character. Look at all the clues. Jungles in Africa, wife called Jane and so on. Who's this? Okay, question 7. In different cultures, this god represents youth and the male gender. His symbol that you see here, a circle with an arrow pointing out to the upper right, is used as a symbol for the male gender. Who is this Roman god of war who has a celestial object named after him? Should be very simple. Don't discuss too loudly, I can clearly hear a lot of team's answers. Keep your discussion a little low volume. Who is this Roman god of war who has a celestial object named after him? Simple short answer there. Seven. Question eight. Question eight. This is a character from the world of books uh, that also features in a series of movies. The character has a just a one letter name. One letter from the alphabet is the name of the character. Two different people are playing the same role in different films. This is in the more, the one on the right is in the more recent films. One on the left is in the slightly older films. What is the name of this character? I just want one letter in your answer, nothing more, one letter. If you think the character's name is D, just write the letter D in your answer. Just one letter is all we need, nothing more. What is the name of this character? He appears in a famous series of films. Appears in a famous series of films. What is the name of this character? Just one letter in your answer. Take a guess. You have one out of 25 chances because I have already told you D. So don't write D. So one out of 25 chances of getting it right. Put the lights. Please put these lights off on stage. Yeah. Question 9. You will find it getting distributed as holy prasadam in many temples across Kerala such as Guruvayur temple, Sabarimala temple and so on. The variety made with milk in Ambalapura is believed to be one of the most famous and must try varieties. This sweet dish can be made with a number of ingredients. You can use rice, you can use vermicelli or semya, you can use moong dal and you can use rava or you can use coconut. What is this sweet dish that gets its name from the Sanskrit word for nectar? Simple, what is this sweet dish that you can make that gets its name from the Sanskrit word meaning nectar? You can make it from rice, from vermicelli, from moong dal, from coconut, from rava, various ways. What is the name of this dish? It is something that all of you must have eaten at some point.
and there is a very famous milk variety in Ambalapura temple which is supposed to be very famous. Okay, question 10. Composed by Narayana Pandit, it had its origin around 1000 years ago. The name is a combination of two terms, one meaning welfare or benefit and the other meaning advice. As the name suggests, it is a collection of tales that counsel and advice for the welfare and benefit of all by imparting morals and knowledge. It contains stories like blind vulture and elephant and the jackal. What is this collection of stories? It is very similar to the Panchatantra. So, do not write Panchatantra. It is very similar to the Panchatantra. It is another set of stories. One word. It is one word. It is one word. The one word combines these two words. One which means benefit or welfare and the other that means advice or counsel. One word, it is a collection of tales very similar to the Panchatantra. All right, first 10 questions are done. The next 5 questions are the slightly tougher questions. So, they are the star marked questions. In case there is a tie, these questions will resolve the ties. Question number 11. This word from the 18th century comes from Polynesia, which is a which is a part of the world, and it means correct or workmanlike. The first written reference appears in the journal of Joseph Banks, the naturalist about Cape, Captain Cook's ship, the HMS Endeavour. He says, I shall now mention the way the people mark themselves indelibly. Each of them is so marked by their humor or disposition. The word was brought to Europe when Captain Cook returned in 1769. What is this? This is a kind of fashionable thing that many people do. You will see that many sports persons, musicians, all of them get this done. So, look at the, the key clue is the way they mark themselves on their bodies. Key clue is the way they mark themselves on their bodies. So, apparently when Captain Cook, the famous explorer went to Polynesia, which is the areas around Australia, New Zealand and, and the Pacific that side, went to Tahiti. He saw this and so the naturalist there wrote, I shall now mention the way they mark themselves. Now today this is something that you will find many musicians, actors, sportsmen or even many normal people get this done. What is this? One word answer. What is this? I don't know. That's all up to you. I'm not giving specifics like that. Many people can get this done. You don't have to be anybody special. It's up to you. But you can get it done as a special kind of parlor. So if you go to get this done at a place, that place is called a dash parlor. Okay. 12. Identify this Olympic event. Again, one word answer. The interesting thing is it's the distances are not the same. For women it is 100 meters, for men it is 110 meters. There is an obstacle, the height of the obstacles is 2.75 feet for women and 3.5 feet for men. And the world record time is 12.21 seconds for the women and 12.8 seconds for the men. What event is this? One word answer. Hundred meters for women, hundred and ten meters for men. Your biggest clue is what is given in the second paragraph, which is the height of the obstacles. That should be a big clue. All right. One. It's all one. It's all referring to one event in the Olympics. I have given you different parts of the aspects of the event, the distance over which it is run, what is the world record timing and there are some obstacles in this event. So what is the event called? That is all. It is all referring to one event. One word answer. One word answer. Repeating again. One word answer. Okay. Let us go. Question 13. 
there are three UNESCO World Heritage Sites that are completely located in Tamil Nadu. Two of them are monuments or temples. One is the group of temples at Mahabalipuram. The other is the great living Chola temples, which are the temples at Tanjavur, Dharasuram and Gangaikonda Cholapuram. What is the third UNESCO World Heritage Site in Tamil Nadu? It is part of a group of three. The other two of which it is a part, it is a group of three. The other two are in, one is in West Bengal and one is in Himachal Pradesh. Let me tell you, the UNESCO World Heritage Site is not very far from here. It is not very far from here. If many of you from here went on a holiday, you would probably go and experience or use this UNESCO World Heritage Site. So, excluding the Western Ghats. So, the Western Ghats is also UNESCO World Heritage Site, but it passes through multiple states. So, excluding the Western Ghats. What is this third UNESCO World Heritage Site? It is not very far from here. And if you go on a holiday from here, very likely chance that you may see this, you may use it, you may experience it. Check. Okay. So, what is the third UNESCO World Heritage Site in Tamil Nadu? Need a reasonably specific answer over here. So, give a two, three word answer that should describe it. There are two other very similar things in India. One is in Himachal Pradesh and one is in uh, West Bengal, more specifically in Darjeeling. Check. Okay. All right. So that's 13. Questions 14 and 15 are one question. There are two parts to it. Please write the first part in answer as answer 14 and the second part as answer 15. This is a painting called Language of Stone, celebrating the great stone carvings found in India, like Ajanta Elora and Kajuraho. Uh, question 14 is Who is the famous painter from India who painted this? most famous painter from India that you can think of who painted this. The second part of the question is in the background of this painting you will see these lines how the language of stone surpasses the language of men. Which famous award winning Indian writer wrote these lines? Right? So question 14 is name of the painter. Question 15 is name of a famous Indian writer. Both the painter and the writer are very famous. Pick up picture of the painting. This is the painting and you can see in the background it says how the language of stone surpasses the language of men. Those lines were written by a very very famous award winning Indian writer. So which famous Indian painter painted this? Think of one of the most famous painters from India that you know. And which famous award winning Indian writer wrote this? Both are male, both are men. Famous male Indian painter and famous male Indian writer. Both are men. Very, very famous. Yeah, it's in English. It says how the language of stone surpasses the language of men. It's written in English. You can see at the background over there. And I have blanked out the name of the writer. The writer is very, very famous. Very, very famous. Famous writer and poet from India. Yes, he is a poet. He is a poet, he is a playwright, he is a, a writer of novels, everything. So, question 14, please write the name of the painter. Question 15, please write the name of the writer. Yeah, both are dead. The writer is long dead. The painter also died some years back.
Painter died relatively recently, maybe within the last five, seven years. Okay? The writer died long, long back. The writer who wrote those words, the answer to question 15, that writer died many years ago. The painter died in the last five years or something. Four, five years. Okay, end of the start questions. Let's go on to question 16. Question 16, this graph shows the progress of something in India as of December 2015. Look at the graph carefully and tell us what is it showing. Again, a one word answer will do. Uh, the blue color thing says operational kilometers. The other one says under construction kilometers. And the cities are very important. Kolkata, Delhi, Bangalore, Gurgaon, Mumbai, Jaipur, Chennai, Noida, Lucknow, Navi Mumbai, Nagpur, Hyderabad, Cochin, Ahmedabad. In all of these cities, something is being constructed in India. In India, in all of these cities, something is being constructed. The blue color shows how much is done and operational and the red color shows how much is under construction. So what are we? So Delhi, you can see a huge amount is 213 kilometers are already operational in Delhi. Whereas in Kolkata, 28 kilometers are operational. Bangalore, 26 kilometers. Chennai has just started 10 kilometers. What is this? One word will do. What is being constructed? That's all. What is being constructed? One word. Something that's happening in many cities in India. Okay, 17. This Google Doodle celebrates the works of the French writer Charles Perrault and showcases one of his most famous stories. Which story do you see on this? Should be very simple, bigger picture. Yeah. Which story do you see on this picture? Silence, please discuss a little softly within your teams. Two word answer. Which story do you see on this picture? Okay, this is celebrating the life of Charles Perrault. Which story do you see? 18. The Plantanista gangetica is divided into two subspecies, Ganges and Indus. This species is highly endangered in the wild and is threatened by the loss of habitat and severe pollution. It is also protected by various national and international laws. What official status in 2010 was given to this animal? Okay, I will, for to make it easy for you, I will tell you that these are the two subspecies of, can anybody tell me what animal we are referring to? The dolphins, correct. So this is the Gangetic dolphin and the Indus dolphin, the two subspecies of dolphins. Now the question is, in 2010, what official status did the Indian government give, these, give this dolphin? So the dolphin was made the official something in India. What? What official status did the Indian government give the dolphin in the year 2010? We will accept multiple answers over here. There is one very official specific title. If you give that, that's fine. But anything that is kind of close to that should be fine. Think about it. You can easily guess what the official title or status could be. All right. 19. 19 simple new IPL team rising Pune Super Giants. Who is the captain? It's IPL season is coming up. So simple IPL question for all of you. Who is the captain of the rising Pune Super Giants IPL team? Right, hopefully every team will get that answer correct. Question number 20. This word comes to us from the Latin for water or clear water 
and may have been influenced by the Greek word for referring to a water goddess. It entered the medical world in the 19th century and now refers to a colorless fluid found in the human body. What five letter word is this? What five letter word is this? It's a colorless fluid found in the human body and it comes to us from the Latin for water or clear water. What is this colorless fluid found in the human body? Five letter answer. Remember, it's one word, five letters. Don't write five words in your answer. It's one word, five letters. Okay, last five questions of the prelims. 21. 21. Uh, you can see a cartoon. Now in the cartoon, you'll see a, a, a doctor stating that something else is dead because of a particular reason. Now, it's a one word answer. Think of a, f see what kind of, check, yeah. See what kind of animal is there as a doctor and think of a famous proverb involving that animal being killed, okay? Yeah, so you can, you can see, think of a famous proverb a famous saying or a proverb that involves that animal being killed okay and tell me what is it that killed this animal what is the doctor saying that killed this animal it's a funny question right it's a it's a it's a slightly funny question you just have to think out of the box a little bit think of a famous proverb that involves this animal and that involves how this animal would be killed so we just need a one word answer so in this cartoon, these people are asking the doctor, how did someone or something die? And the doctor gives a one word answer. That should remind you of a famous proverb in which an animal is killed because of something. Full proverb is fine, but the first word of that proverb will do, which is the answer to this, which, which is whatever is blanked out. So one word will do. If you want to write the full proverb, go ahead. No problem. Twenty yes. English, English. This quiz is in English, everything is in English. If it is in some other language, I'll let you know. Twenty-two. Today is Valentine's Day, Feb 14th, but Valentine's Day in 1876 was a landmark day in the history of technology. A popular but unverified account says that Gardiner Hubbard, ex's partner, filed the patent for something on the same day as another person. Why was the first to the patent office to file his application, but because of a number of applications, his patent went to the bottom of the tray and X's ended up on top. Both X and Y fought in courts over this. So basically two people claimed that they were the inventor of something. That's something that has now become very, very common across the world. Okay? We know that one person is always, if I ask you a question, who invented the dash? You will all answer with one person's name because we all know that this person invented this particular thing. But there was actually a dispute. Two people claimed that they invented it. And on Valentine's Day in 1876, they filed applications and People say that by accident, one person's application went on top and so he is credited as the inventor. Now you just have to tell me what is this object that has now become very, very popular and is there used across the world? Are we talking about two people competing for the title of the inventor of something? You don't have to write the person's name. Just write down what is this. Patent for what. One word again. One word will do. You don't have to write anybody's name. X and Y are two people. You don't have to write anybody's name. Just tell us the what this is for. One word answer. What important piece of technology is this for? Very, very simple. Something very basic. 
something that you will today find in houses in offices in shops in hotels everywhere okay 23 23 24 and 25 are all video questions so take a good look at the videos listen carefully maintain some silence so in this one there are a bunch of this is from a film there are a bunch of people who are prisoners who are talking about a particular famous novel which novel or book are they talking about please increase the volume sir volume from the computer Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll just again. Hold on. By Alexandre Dumas. Dumas. <laughs> Dumas. <laughs> Dumas. You know what that's about? Uh -uh. You like it? It's about a prison break. We we'll ought to file that on the educational too, don't we? Yeah. So he, the first guy says Alexander Dumas, and then the second guy corrects him, saying it's not Alexander Dumas, it's Alexander Dumas. And what is the book about? Uh, he says you should all like it because this book is about a prison break, right? So it's a very famous novel. What's the name of the novel? I'll play it one more time for you to listen. Volume maximum could bring it. Everyone will be more. By Alexandre Dumas. Dumas. <laughs> Dumas. <laughs> Dumas. You know what that's about? Uh -uh. You like it? It's about a prison break. We'll be able to file that on the educational too, aren't we? Yeah. So it's about a prison break. and it's a novel by alexander duma so what is the novel that they're discussing just give the title of the book all right penultimate question 24 coming up 24 watch this clip it's from the movie transformers dark of the moon which many of you may have seen identify the real life astronaut to whom you see here coming in this clip Allow me to please introduce to you two of NASA's founding mission directors and astronaut Sir Optimus Prime And from a fellow space traveler it's a true honor the honor is mine Who Our entire space race of the 1960s it appears was in response to an event Our astronauts investigated a crashed alien ship no survivors on board we were sworn to secrecy by our commander in chief this was a mission you will never speak of i understand yeah so who was that person is a real life very very famous real life astronaut making a cameo appearance in this clip play it one more time for you to look at allow me to please introduce to you two of nasa's founding mission directors and astronaut we have deliberately cut the clip here so that his name is not mentioned optimus prime and from a fellow space traveler it's a true honor the honor is mine our entire space race of the 1960s it appears was in response to an event our astronauts investigated a crashed alien ship and no survivors on board we were sworn to secrecy by our commander in chief this was a mission you will never speak of i need about 5 words here in your answer look at the picture carefully that's your clue question 3 was deutsche bank in which country is it founded one word answer european country guys no discussing across teams please Question four: The dome of the Rashtrapati Bhavan is inspired by what other historical structure? One more look at it. 
Question five, Rahul, Rajiv, Sanjeev, which famous business family that makes everything from sugar to scooters? Their surname is also the name of the company. One word answer. Okay, question six is fill that blank with one word with the name of a character you've come across in comics. Also known as Lord Greystoke, who has a wife called Jane. Question 7 is the Roman god of war who has a celestial object named after him. One word answer. Question 8 is one letter answer. Name of this character. Appears in a famous series of films. Question 9 is the sweet or dessert that gets its name from the Sanskrit for nectar. You can make it using rice, vermicelli, moong dal, various varieties. Question 10, collection of stories that counsel or advice by Narayana Pandit about a thousand years ago. What is it called? Not the Panchatantra, so please don't write Panchatantra for this. It's not the Panchatantra. It's something else with a one word name. Eleven is, th what is this? That you can get done at special type of parlors, markings on people's bodies. Twelve, one word Olympic event, which has obstacles in it. Thirteen, UNESCO World Heritage Site, part of a group of three. The other two are in Check. Few words in your answer over here and I told you it's not very far from here and if you go on a holiday, you're likely to go on this. 14 and 15. 14 is who's the painter? Very famous painter who died a few years back. And 15 is a very famous Indian poet and writer. Sixteen is what is being constructed in all these cities in India? Bangalore, Chennai, Kolkata, Gurgaon, Noida, Cochin and so on. Seventeen is the story that you see in this picture, two word answer. Eighteen is the official status that the government gave or conferred upon the dolphin. 19 is the captain of the RPSG IPL team. 20 is the five letter word that means a colorless fluid found in the human body. 21 is a one word answer, part of a proverb referring to particular animal being killed. 22 is the patent dispute or the invention dispute over a very, very common invention that is today found the world over. Very simple thing that you will find in your houses, in, in offices, in hotels, in schools, in various other places. 23 was the novel that the prisoners were discussing. By Alex. 24 was the real life astronaut in the Transformers film. Allow me to please introduce One to you. One more quick look. Two of this guy. Founding mission. And 25 was the Big Bang Theory tribute. <laughs> all right. So time's up. Please make sure you put down the names of all the participants, the name of your school and a team name. If we find a really interesting team name, we'll give you a prize. I am going to give you the answers, so give in your sheets and please remain seated. Please don't move anywhere. Stay in your places, somebody will come around and collect the answer sheets. Please don't leave your seats, please continue and remain seated where you are.
charge of corrections while we do all this because we can save on some time in that please please remain seated students please don't move from your seats please remain seated where you are we're going to give you the answers and after that there is a small presentation then there will be a snack break please remain seated Okay, has everybody given your answer sheets? Anybody still holding on? One, the captain, one person from the team, please stand up with the answer sheet if you haven't given it yet. Only if you haven't given your answer sheet. Please stand up, one person from the team. Anybody still left to give answer sheets? We are going to give out the answers now and we will not take any more sheets. Last call, any more answer sheets? Okay, that's fine. I think it's all done. Uh, all right, uh, when I, you know, these teams haven't filled up some details, so I'm going to call out your name, please tell me where you are. Uh, Saktivel, Moti and Krishna Gokul, Sri Shakti Matriculation, where are you guys? Okay. Uh, Sorry, where are you guys? Yeah, please fill in your, one of you please come here, please fill in your i-card number on the sheet. Uh, St. Francis, Anglo-Indian, Shreya, Asmita and Sasmita, where are you? Yeah. Uh, Sri Sakti Blue Team, Ajay Balu and Arun. Ajay Balu and Arun, Sri Sakti Blue. Yeah. There. Dharma Sastha Matriculation, Akshaya, Kesika and Rikasni. Yeah. Here. No problem. I have a volunteer go around with the mic to for the prelims answers. Can we have a volunteer over here uh, to just go around with the mic uh, while we do the answers for the prelims? Okay, uh, time to give out the answers. Don't shout. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. Uh, we'll go. We'll go in order, uh, starting from here. Don't shout. Uh, we'll give everybody a chance. First question to be answered by somebody from the front over here. Don't shout. Raise your hands. So the first question was uh, Krishna Rayapuram. Where did the people move to? Which area in Coimbatore thus started? Anybody in the front? No, no. Wait over here. Anybody here? Yes. yes. Give him the mic. What's your first? Tell us your name and your school, and tell us what the answer is. Shriyari. Magrishi Vidya Mandir, Pila Medu. Pila Medu, absolutely correct. This is Pila Medu, exactly right where we are right now. Pulai flowers, and so this is Pila Medu. Okay, we'll now go to the rows at the back. In the middle somewhere, middle. Yes. Second question. What was the title of this book from a nursery rhyme? Let's try the girl there. Yes. Please introduce yourself. I'm Srinisha from GD Matriculation School. What's the answer? One, two, buckle my shoe. One, two, buckle my shoe. Absolutely correct. You see a shoe over there. So the answer is one, two, buckle my shoe. We'll try the, the back rows over there. Third question, simple one, Deutsche Bank. Yeah, the, the yellow t-shirt. Over here. Yes. I'm a student from GD School. Dutch. Yeah. 
What's the answer? Dutch. Dutch. No, it's not Dutch. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Anybody else there wants to try? There's another boy with his hand up. Sit, sit, sit. Wait. We'll come to you. Yeah. I am GM Harish, PFD Public Schools, yeah. Netherlands. Not Netherlands. Okay, we'll try one last time uh, at the back over there. The boy with his hand up. I'm Nishan from AVB Metric Second School. It is Germany. It is Germany. Absolutely correct. It is Germany. Deutsch refers to Germany. The, the bank was started in Berlin in Germany. Okay, stay that side. Fourth question, uh, Dome of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. You can answer some tougher questions. Sit down. Sit down, sit down. Uh, try the boy there at the back in the glasses with his hands up. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Just pass it on. I'm Mignesh from class 8B in yeah. AAB school. Yeah. Red Fort. Not the Red Fort. Not the Red Fort. The boy there. Yeah. Let's try him. I'm B.S. Warren College, Warren of Class 6. I'm from SSVM World School, Taj Mahal. Not the Taj Mahal. One last try. Yes, go ahead. One last try for somebody there. Yeah. What does the dome look like? The structure on top. I, I'm C.K. Ashwadhan of 8B, GKD Metric Resignation School, Jama Masjid. Jama Masjid. No. Uh, not Jama Masjid. Somebody can shout out the answer. <laughs> not the Gol Gumbas. Not Humayun Stoop, Sanchi Stupa. That's the correct answer. The dome is inspired by the Sanchi Stupa. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's silence, please. Stay in the middle. Settle of the down. Day. Settle down. Settle down. Okay. All right. Okay. Stay in the middle of that. Okay. Oh, okay. lots of hands up. Yeah. Try the boy in red here. Yes. Yeah. It's the Kawasaki. Not Kawasaki. Yeah. Close. Yeah. My name is Vineet. Yeah. I study in 6th standard. Yeah. The answer is Bajaj. The answer is Bajaj. That's correct. The answer is Bajaj. You could see uh, in the background of that picture. The answer is Bajaj. You also have Kawasaki okay. with that. Sixth question. Who is this? Uh, try the boy in the corner there. Yes. Blue okay. shirt. No prompts please. No prompting of answers. I am V. Vishnu Ram from SBOA Secondary School. Yeah. The answer is Tarzan. The answer is Tarzan. That's correct. <laughs> the legend of Tarzan. Back this side. Yeah, simple one. Simple one. Yeah, try anybody in the front. Okay. Uh, I am Ajaya. I am from the PSBB Millennium School, Kadalur. The yes. answer is Mars. Mars. That's the correct answer. Right. Simple one. It's Mars. Okay. Fictional character with a one letter name. Yeah. Try, try somebody there. Yeah. Let's try some girls for a change once. <laughs> Let him try now. Yeah. My name is R. Harshavardhan. Yeah. I am from Vidyaniketan Public School. The answer is Q. The answer is Q. That's correct. In which series of films will you see Q? James Bond. Yes. James Bond. That's an actor called Desmond Lulin who played Q and this is the new Q, the guy called Ben Wisher who plays Q, the James Bond movies. Okay, Prasadam, dessert, let's try one of the girls who got their, any of the girls who have their hands up. Yeah, yeah, right there. I'm in Sharon of Standard 7 yes. from St. Francis Anglo Indian Girls High School, Ada Pradhanam. Uh, no, looking for a simpler answer. Uh, one minute, one minute. Any, uh, any girl with the any more? You want to answer? Anybody else trying? Yeah. Yeah. Sit, sit, sit. And Johanna of St. Francis, the answer is Payasam. Answer is Payasam. That's correct. Simple as that. Congratulations. The answer is Payasam. Okay. Question 10. Settle Nala down, Pandal. settle down. Collection of. Uh, sit, sit, sit. Try, try the guy at the, ba at the corner. Yes. My name is Haan Srijit from GKD Matriculation High Secondary School. Jataka Tales. Not the Jataka Tales. Good try. Not Anybody the Jataka Tales. There is a girl with her hand up right here. Right in front. Yeah. There you go. 
My name is Shivani from SSVM World School. Yes. Amar Chitra Katha. No, Amar Chitra Katha is a collection of many other stories. In fact, there is an Amar Chitra Katha on this as well. Yeah, Prayam, last try. I am Bhavya Agarwal from Chinmay International Residential School, Hitopadesha. Hitopadesha, that's a good answer. Very good. This is the Hitopadesha. In fact, that's an Amar Chitra Katha on the Hitopadesha. This is Hitopadesha. Well done. Good answer there. Okay, start questions. Question number 11. Simple one. Yeah, try, uh, try anybody. Try, try this boy here. Tattoos. Tattoos, absolutely right. Tattoos. I'm Shyam from Yobarthi Public School. Okay, well done, Shyam. Tattoos is correct. Okay, Olympic event. Yeah, since he's been asking. Right in the front, he's been asking for uh, that. I'm Tarun Pradeep of Yuvabharati uh, Public School. Yes. Uh, hurdles. Hurdles, that's correct. <laughs> hurdles. Tarun gets it right. Okay, UNESCO World Heritage Site. Let's see who tries this. Uh, ah, let's, let's try somebody there, yeah? Sir, my name is K. Sanjay. Yeah? The answer is Goa. The answer is Goa? No, it's not Goa. Yes. Uh, my name is Jay Krishna Joyce. Silence. St. Francis Anglo Indian Girls High yes. School. The answer is South Asian East. No, no, it's no nothing very complicated. My name is Jay Ashmita. Uh, uh, St. Francis Anglo Indian yes. School. The answer is Seas and Guts. No, no. One last try, one last try. Okay. Yes. My name is Chennis Cynthia. I'm from St. Francis Anglo Indian Girls High School. The answer is. Answer is? Uh, Thiruvalluvar statue. Not the Thiruvalluvar statue. Okay. Let's, let's put an end to this and ask uh, PSBB to shout out the answer. Not the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve? Uti Railways. That's the correct answer. Nilgiri Mountain Railway or Uti Railway or if you have written Uti Toy Train or Nilgiri Toy Train, that's the correct answer. There are two similar mountain railways in silence, silence, silence. What? Two similar mountain railways in Kalka, Shimla and Darjeeling. Okay, tough question. Let's see who answers this. Uh, give it to the boy in the blue shirt, whichever school that is. Uh, I am Logeshwar of class 7. Which school? S SBOA. Ah, SBOA, yes, tell us. And the painter is Ravi Verma. Not Ravi Verma. Who's the writer? Shall I give it here? No, I'll let him try the other part. Who's the writer? Tagore. Tagore, that's correct. Rabindranath Tagore. Who's the painter? Okay, yeah, give him. I am Ritwik Menon from 7A SSPM World School. Yes, SSPM. The painter is MF Hussain. That's the correct answer. The painter is MF Hussain. Yep. Painter is M.F. Hussain and the writer is Rabindranath Tagore. Absolutely okay. right. Settle down, settle down. Let go settle at the down. back, Kunal. Just uh, try down, at please. the back. Settle down. Okay. Question 16. What is this showing? Somebody at the back. Yeah. Sit, sit, sit. Sit, sit, sit. Yes. My name is Saru. Silence. My name is Saru Asni of 60s and Francis. Yeah. The answer is Metro Rail. Metro Rail. Correct. <laughs> Absolutely right. Metro Rail. The answer is Metro Rail. Yeah, simple one. You can shout it out. My name is Tree Hadley. Yes, yes. I'm from Perth. I think everybody school. got this. The answer Sleeping, is Sleeping Beauty. Beauty. Easy one. Next question. Next question. Okay, I'll give it to you again. Okay, this is a this is a good question. What official state? No, no, not those guys again. Okay. Try someone at the back. One minute, one minute. One Kunal, minute, try one somebody minute. at the back. Yeah. I'm R. Rohit from SSVM Girls School, yeah. studying in 6th standard. Yeah. I, I, national uh, River Animal. Perfect. I'll give you the points. National Aquatic Animal is the correct answer. Or if you have written National River Animal, that's also fine. Marine national Marine Animal is also fine. Anything, anything that says silence, silence, guys. Some silence. If you say, if you say national aquatic animal is the exact answer, 
But if you have written national river animal, marine animal, water animal, anything to do with aquatic, we'll give you points. Thank you. We have a question. Sir, national fish is correct, sir. National fish. National fish is wrong. No, it's not the. It's not even a fish. First of all, and it's not the national fish. Aquatic mammal is also fine. We'll we'll come back. Don't worry. If you have written an answer, forget about it. We'll check it while correcting, and we'll give you a point if it sounds correct. Okay, simple. The one and only M S Dhoni. Did anybody get this wrong? Any team got this wrong? Wrong. Lord wrong. Steve Smith. Wrong. Too much thinking. Okay. Good question. Not very easy. Let's see who tries this. Uh. So somebody who hasn't tried till now. Uh, you know the answer. Okay. No. No. Give it to him. Give it to him. Hello. Okay. Try. Okay. Stand up. Placid. No. Uh, over here somewhere. Hydra. Sorry. Hydra. No. Sweat. Yes. Sweat. No. One last try here in front. I'm Ibrahim from SBOM Education yes. Higher Secondary School. Yes. The answer is liver. No, the answer is not liver. No, I don't have the answer from anyone. Please sit down. Not tears. No, I am not hearing the answer from anyone. No, the answer is lymph. The answer is lymph. Okay, did anybody get it right? Oh, one, one, two teams got it right. Give them a round of applause. Tougher question on the quiz, lymph. So you say lymph capillary and so on. Okay, what is the blanked out word in this cartoon? Go right at the back, Kunal. Yes. Try the boy in the non-uniform shirt there. He's got his hand up. Somebody, yeah? You want to try? Okay, anybody there? Anybody from the back? Curiosity. Curiosity, that's correct. The proverb is of course, curiosity killed the cat. So curiosity is all we wanted. Uh, Wenki, we have a doubt. Wenki, we have a doubt. Uh, so can we write curious? Curious, we'll see. Curiosity is the correct answer. Uh, no doubts, guys. Don't clarify any doubts. We will correct the sheets. You want to answer the question? Yeah. You want to answer the question or you want to ask a doubt? Answer the question. Yes, please go ahead. It's internet. Internet. No, it's not the internet. It's something much simpler than that. Try the girl there. Silence, silence. Yeah. Telephone. Who's answering? Yes. Telephone. Who are the two people? Alexander Graham, Graham Bell. Graham Bell and, and a guy called Alicia Gray. The telephone. Absolutely correct. The telephone. The telephone. So on Valentine's Day in 1876 is when there was the patent filed for the telephone. Okay, what novel was this? Ooh. No, no, please sit. You have answered enough. No, no, please sit. Try the boy in the green t-shirt. I am Vishnu from National Model. The answer is the three mosquitoes. Not the three mosquitoes. Uh, let's give it to him. My name is C.K. Jayant Aditya. I am studying PSBB school. Uh, fifth standard, the answer is Isabella. No, we it's have, not. We have someone here. One Thank last you. try. Thank you. We have someone here. We give it to him, PSBB over here. My name is D. Rishi Ashwant. I am studying in PSBB Millennium School. The answer is escape plan. No. Thank you. Last time. Uh, hang on. Yeah. My name is Rikeshwi from... Shh, silence. St. Francis Anglo Indian Girls High School. The answer is the famous five. Not the famous five. Nope. I think enough, 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 enough attempts. Try. Okay. The Count of Monte Cristo. That's the correct answer. The Count of Monte Cristo. Absolutely right. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Duma. Very famous book about a person escaping from a prison. 
Okay, Transformers, Dark of the Moon, simple one. Try anybody there. Silence, silence. I'm SK Manoj from Vidyani Kevin Public School. Yeah. My answer is Neil Armstrong. Not Neil Armstrong. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, Pranay from Yuvavarthi School. Yeah. My answer is Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin, that's correct. That's Buzz Aldrin. Edwin Aldrin, also called Buzz Aldrin. And the last one is very easy, so you can shout it out. Yes. Star Wars. That is correct. Uh, Thank you so much. Students, may I request you to please be seated. All the students, may I please request you to be seated. Everyone, 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 boy over there. Can we all have you seated please? Silence, everyone. Yes, what do you want? Where's your seat? Okay. So, uh, I hope you all had uh, a fab time in the quiz. Did you really enjoy yourself? Yes! Nice. So how many are confident to be occupying these tables over here? How many of you are confident enough? How many teams are confident to occupy the teams? Nice. Great, great, great. So let's wait for the results. And uh, soon we will have all the eight teams over here for the final quiz. So as we begin, uh, I would like to uh, take this opportunity and just uh, launch our book basis which this quiz is revolving around. So, uh, without taking any further time, I would like to call upon stage uh, our Vice President, Ashish Arora, Manish Doshi, Vice President, and uh, Dr. Naveen Jaikumar, of course, who is the uh, author with next to Venkatesh. As they will come here, yeah, so uh, let them come. So, uh, this is the series of books that we've just recently launched. Exploring General Knowledge is what is it called. It is available for grades 1 to 8. And uh, these are the books in front of you. So, we've just launched these books this year. And I, uh, they are there at the display at the back. So, the parents, teachers and students later on can definitely go and take a look at the books. They are also available for sale. So, if you really like them, you can purchase outright. So, yes, Doctor? Venkatesh, Manish Doshi, Vice President, Ashish Arora, Vice President, Cambridge. So I'm just requesting Dr. Naveen to inaugurate the series, please. A big round of applause, everyone. Big round of applause, please, everyone. So these are the books, as I said, 1 to 8, Exploring General Knowledge. Thank you. So what is this? What is there in this book? So I will just ask Venkatesh to run you through this. Okay. So uh, this is, like Kunal announced, uh, this is a series of GK books, right? Uh, but we've tried to create this GK book with a little bit of difference. It's not uh, uh, your standard GK book which has just questions and answers in it. Uh, if, you, if you look at each of the books, there are multiple sections in the book that we've come up with. Uh, you, can, you can see right in the beginning, uh, there is a section which will tell you how to use the book. Now various pages in this book have been thought through in a different way. Uh, in terms of how the book should be used. And 
if you look at the 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 contents every book for every class has the following sections india culture science language and literature technology so there is a section on technology for every book so in classes in class 1 for example we have covered covered a simple technology like a keyboard whereas in a class 7 or 8 there is something like nanotechnology right uh, something very advanced that has been covered over here entertainment sports nature and wildlife and we have a section called life skills now what are these life skills where life skills are things like max puzzles small things that you should know for your life to become easier and better so there are things like how to do a uh, how many of you have taken a flight and gone somewhere how many of you have been on a plane okay many people right so there is something today called a web check in that you can do if you before you fly on a plane so there are things like how to do a web check in how many of you know what is a tatkal ticket tatkal train ticket okay yeah last minute ticket on a train so how to book a tatkal train ticket or what how if you go to a hospital what are the things that you should look for or do so there are lot of puzzles in this book i think lot of you will like it it's not just questions and answers there is coloring there is puzzles there's crosswords there's match the following there's beautiful shapes and so on multiple things like that uh, that you should you should kind of look at the book has been also one thing i'd like you to remember the book has been created by people who are quiz experts dr navin is of course one of the best quiz masters in the country as well as what i'd also like to say that many of you don't know uh, many people probably don't know is apart from being a very good quiz master he is also one of the best quizzers in the country right he also takes part in many quizzes he has a very very strong quizzing team and they have won many quizzes in the country uh in in our company nexus again uh, you know there are a lot of us who are very enthusiastic quizzers apart from being quiz masters so the people who put this book together for you are people who are active in the general knowledge and the quizzing space nexus for example today works with several schools across india and run we run our own gk programs for schools and train school children like you on how to prepare overall not just for quizzes but overall broaden your perspective on general knowledge uh, dr navin conducts several workshops uh, as well as quizzes for schools and uh, corporates and cambridge university press is of course one of the world's foremost and leading publishers uh, who are there so we have all come together to put this uh, put these series of books together just so that it's something very different we believe that if you go to the market by any other general knowledge book you will not find the kind of content that you see in these books in any of the books that are existing in the market today and these books are absolutely updated so the information you find in these books is up to date as of say november 2015 when the books were actually printed 3 4 months back right so i hope you all like the books uh, please give us some feedback uh, especially parents and teachers if you come across the books are kept at the back obviously for you to buy uh, you can just take it and browse through it as well please give us some feedback on what you'd like to see in the books there are going to be small revisions further editions in fact uh, we're very happy to tell you that the book has been such a success that the first run of prints that we have done for the book is all already sold out across the country right so it's all already sold out we're going to do a second run and uh, give us uh, uh, tell us what you think about the books what uh, more you would like to see in the next edition of the book uh, what is good what is bad what is interesting uh, do you like it anything more that you are looking for let us know and cambridge and dr navin and nexus will work on it and try to come up with something new for you i'll hand over the mic to dr navin to say a few words because he has put together or driven or given the direction for a lot of the content as well thank you venkatesh i normally you must be associating with me with, with conducting quizzes so this is the uh, probably the few times that i've actually gone out and written a book took a lot of uh, time and thought to see, figure out what exactly i need to convey to all of you my a few thoughts that i had when i started this 
is quite often in schools uh, quizzing or general knowledge is like a class individual activity rather like an exam so i don't want this book to be like an exam kind of a book it's basically a fun book but it contains information information in an entertaining format and i would encourage uh, students to look at this uh, and students and teachers to look at this as a group activity something that teachers and students can get into work on a page come up with answers and then from there maybe take it on to something else you could have a discussion about something else that you read here and that's how knowledge spreads so the book is merely a stepping stone or a launch pad to a further exploration which is why the title of this book is exploring general knowledge exploration doesn't just stop with this book it's a continuous process we hope that the cambridge university press book uh, will be a start point or a launch pad for a further explanation of this wonderful world of general knowledge so do enjoy this book and i hope you like it thank, thank you thank you thank you thank you doctor all right uh, are there any teachers do we have any teachers here any teachers from schools uh 1 2 3 4 all right so we have books on display at the back on a counter and uh, we also have sudhakar uh, with us sudhakar is our cambridge uh, colleague uh, for the team so what i would request is after going through the books if you are really interested and you like them you want us to take these books to your schools you can please connect with sudhakar right now and kind of get an appointment or an inquiry so sudhakar and his team will definitely make it a point to come to your school and make a presentation yes uh hello uh actually uh, matson is one who is based out in uh, koyamato he is sitting over there if you have any queries you can contact him also i think uh, you, uh, you can get a visiting card of uh, mr matson also so uh, any queries please contact him uh mr matson can you please raise your hand can we see you yes there's matson is so he represents cambridge in koyamatur so all the teachers can connect with matson thank you so much so we have some small snack box to be distributed for the students and parents as well so we have a quick 15 minutes break and then as uh, the papers are getting corrected and then we will start with the main quiz i would request everyone to please be seated in the hall and not venture out so please try to refrain from going out and be here itself please continue distributing thank you thank you i'm sorry yes you can go and buy the books they are there today for the sale the stocks are limited so if you are really interested go and pick your copy right now students please don't go out of the hall please don't leave the hall all of you students all of you please be seated take your seat they will come to you and give you the snack box no need to come here please be seated they are coming to your seats don't make crowd here please take your seats everyone yes please uh ashish can we have a volunteer for what they want to can we have a volunteer here? alok 